everyone thank you for tuning in welcome to my channel i am back again to bring you another general um i hope everyone is in good spirits okay um i am today is actually a good day okay spirit please <laughs> Okay, every message will not be your message. You have to take them as they resonate, okay? But every message is not your message, okay? I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to speak whatever truth the cards are giving me, okay? I'm not one of those readers, so... <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, all signs, you know your story, you know your situation. The first card out is Empress, okay? <laughs> That's funny. We have Empress and then we have Witches, right? And then we've got Deception. So what we have here is a war between good and evil, okay? And someone was trying to deceive someone, okay? In whatever situation this is. Okay. <clears throat> we got no coming out, okay? We have a strong no in this situation. And we're going to dig and find out, okay, exactly what this no is about. <clears throat> Money is in the reverse, okay? We got Libra coming out. Okay. We got the initials N, first, middle, or last. We got the initials C, first, middle, or last. We also have divine timing. Okay. So whatever this is, we got someone in Empress energy, and then we have shit witches <laughs> you know more than one okay we got an s on the end but whatever deception someone was trying to cause it, it's a no because right behind no you have money in the reverse okay so someone was trying to trick someone with money and then divine timing intervene Okay, right, too close. Okay, something is too close. Okay, we got the initials G, first, middle, or last. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, then we got on the run overseas. Okay, we got stalking in the reverse. Okay, we got laughing. But, well, <laughs> they could be laughing because they think they got away from this. Because they're on the run overseas. But, you know, divine timing is divine timing. Okay, that means that, you know, God really doesn't care where you go. He's going to find you when he's ready for you to reap the karma. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't run from karma. You can't relocate from karma. You know. So laughing because you think you got away from something, you, you didn't get away from it. You just relocated. You, you, that's, what, that's what happened, right? Moving, moving on, right? Whatever this person did, right? Moving on, set up. Whatever this person was trying to do to deceive this person here or these people, okay? But these are feminine energies, all right? Right, these are feminine energies here. Right, betrayal. Right, they may be on, they think they're, they're laughing for now, okay? Right. The betrayal, abuse. Look, they done way too much. They not getting away from this. They not getting away from this. You want to know why? Because look, no matter how hard they're laughing, they're having nightmares, okay? So I'm telling you right now, whatever this is, these witches are not laughing too too much in this situation 
because the reason why they're headed overseas is because they will have to hide wherever they are, you know, to whatever it is that they did. You know what I mean? So laugh at what? <laughs> you know, that's clearly the message here. You know, broke. Okay, we got an Aries. Okay. Um, we got heartbroken. Okay. Yeah, this is the energy. This is the energy that's going on right now. Okay, so maybe at one point I feel like these witches were laughing at this, but now they're on the run. So I don't feel like it's funny anymore. Yeah, they were abusing their power here. Okay. This Aries could be heartbroken about the way this this is all turning out because it was a no-go. It was a no-go. And it's like now, right, because they stole something. Okay? Someone stole something from someone that they hate. Okay? And now, you know, because this person hated this person and they stole something, they have to run for that now. Okay? So, this Aries is not too happy with being on the run. Okay, that's not what this Aries was this Aries was um looking for. That's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. Background planning. Listen. They're coming up with something right now. What next? What next? Lovers is in the reverse. Okay, so if there were lovers in this situation, there are no there are no more lovers. Okay, we have a Capricorn coming out here. Okay, we got bad health. And then we have new love showing up. Okay. So we have at night in the reverse. We have Taurus. Okay. Yeah, so this is like a whole scandal. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at here. Someone tried to set someone up, deceive somebody, okay? It's like really like pin something on someone. Because it's a betrayal. Too close. Someone was someone felt like someone was too close. Because we got heartbroken, we got lovers and the reverse, <clears throat> okay? We got new love, so, I mean, I'm picking up on, well, there are lovers in this at one point, okay? Right, and someone betrayed someone here. There was a heavy betrayal here, okay? But someone was trying to... We got the initial T, first, middle, or last. But yeah, someone was trying to copy someone else here. Because we got copycat. So maybe these people were trying to frame someone and then steal something at the same time. Right, we got riches in the reverse. Um, to whatever this setup is, whatever this plan was, it is not working out. Inheritance. Money. Here we go with the money again. We got bisexual coming out here. Okay, so uh, there's a breakup in all of this <laughs> with everything that's going on. There, There's a lot going on in this energy. But there was a lot of stalking, abuse. There was a lot. There was a lot going on in this energy. And it's like spirit is bringing this to the cycle to a close here. The past returns for a time is in the reverse. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe these people were planning some get back. That's what I'm feeling like. We got the initial I, first, middle, or last. Like, this was somebody's way of paying someone back. We got the initial J, first, middle, or last. Right, see, it's a past situation. Okay, it's a past situation that someone is trying to make a recent situation, right? I'm telling you, this is a rest will be made. Okay, whoever these people were, these these women, this group of women that tried to frame this person, sacrifice, right? They were trying to take someone's life from them. Okay, rather through uh, framing them for like 
some t some type of crime or something they were trying to frame it for right jail time so they were trying to frame someone else so they wouldn't get in trouble so they wouldn't be arrested but that's not working out now okay because all fingers are pointing back to whoever was involved here right we got the initials v first middle or last okay believe it or not okay we got std okay we got the initials d first middle or last we got there okay there were a lot of people wearing two faces okay that's a lot while wow. this why this all fell apart because you know the the people that were supposed to be working together were turning on each other they were backstabbing each other you know they were wearing two faces to each other here and it was a failure whatever it was it failed it did not work and now someone it wants to travel it could have had something to do with a child okay it's got travel and it's got child here and spirit is like uh nope and it's like surrender because there's an energy shift there's been an energy shift okay so you know spirit is saying listen you know, spirit really don't care what these people are in the, in the energy of doing right now with this background plan. And spirit is like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. There's an energy shift. This is over. This is over. Okay. I think these people are now coming to the realization. It's like they kind of set themselves up here. Okay. Right. The lies that they told. Okay. The lies that they told on this person are catching up with them. Look, the lies that they told are catching up with them. Why? Because the truth is being told now. Okay? The truth is being told. And they don't want that. Family involved. Yeah, it's like, well... Family involved in this situation. Quiet. We got the initials B, first, middle, or last. We got the initials X, first, middle, or last. X can mark the spot. I just heard that. Okay, we have the initial L, first, middle, or last. You know, someone's dark skin. Um, we got the initials H, first, middle, or last. And here's that STD again. Okay? But I don't know. Maybe someone seduced someone, tried to seduce someone, or has already. I don't know. To get them to go along with all this right here. Okay, but it's a lot of involvement, okay, in this situation here. And here we go, confirmation. Arrest will be made. Arrest will be made. Identity theft. Okay? Look, Spirit is telling you how this is going to end. Back to sender ten times over. You know, you, <laughs> we got the initials K, first, middle, or last. Okay? But it's like, yeah, God is not playing, right? Exposure. He's exposing these people for this um, betrayal that they were trying to cause on someone, someone's life. Divine masculine is in the reverse. Okay, so someone you could know. We got fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay, um, that could have been a divine masculine or you thought this person was a divine masculine. It's in the reverse. Fake friends, okay? You got you got a lot of people, okay, in this that do not have your best interest at heart, okay? But the clarity of this message is divine timing stepped in. It showed up, okay? So whoever I'm speaking to, um, if this war is against you, understand you don't have anything to be worried about. Okay, because there was a shift. Okay, a shift is taking place. If these people were involving themselves in spell work, it's being returned to them. Okay, um, someone's going to reach out and try to call someone. Okay, someone who, and maybe player energy. Okay, um, they could have the initial L somewhere in their name, first, middle, or last. But yeah, all of this is divine timing. Yeah, spirit is confirming there has been a lot of heavy spell work. A lot of heavy spell work to make this case go right. Okay. There has been a lot of heavy spell work. Okay. To make an innocent person look guilty. Okay. But understand. 
that God stepped in on this matter and said, no, 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 no. Since you all did the crime, you all do the time. You know, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, people are crazy. People are crazy. Okay, these people sat down and put this whole thing together. Okay, that's what this is. This is deception, betrayal, set up. The cards are telling the story. Okay, and apparently whatever this, whatever they done is real bad to the point where, you know, they want this person to serve their jail time here. It's, it's, that shit don't make sense to me. Look, love spells. Okay, they just been karmic friends, karmic family. Yeah, that's who these people are in the energy here. And here we go. Confirmation. Okay, some of you do not believe that <laughs> someone is working against you and your energy. But yeah, they are. Okay, we got the initial L, first, middle, or last. Okay, we got Gemini showing up here. We got the initial F, first, middle, or last. Here's that Earth sign again. The initial E. Okay. The initial Z, first, middle, or last. But yeah, um, yeah, something is not rich man, rich woman going broke. Yeah, this was involving money. This was involving money and someone wanted somebody else to take the fall because whoever these, these women, these people, they knew, okay, they knew what they were doing. They knew, they knew. We got hater and we got death. And then we got the initials Q, first, middle, or last. <sighs> Tragic endings for new beginnings. Okay, we got a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for years. Okay, we got Aquarius. Okay, the great pretender. We got Cancer. Okay, we got child support. We got trust no one. The secrets are being revealed. Okay, we got Leo. All right. It's like, look, God has got his hands on this matter. OK, this is divine intervention for those who didn't believe that it's possible. OK. Maybe these people thought that their magic was more powerful than, you know, spirit. But that's far from the case here. You know, there are some people that God is like, just, just don't touch that person. Just don't even try it. You know what I mean? There's just some people that he feels that way about. You know, that's the rule for all of us. You know, the enemy is not supposed to hurt God's people. Okay. But from what I'm looking at here, this is a whole, this is like, Shit on top of shit on top of shit on top of shit. It's like, if that wasn't going to get the person in trouble, this is going to get that person in trouble. That didn't get this person in trouble, that's going to get that person in trouble. It's like, they, they tried to block off every avenue to make sure this person was caught up. Okay? And God was so pissed off sitting back watching them do this to someone who didn't deserve it. He said, okay, if that's what you want. You want to see somebody take all that pain and suffering? I'll tell you what. Here, you try it. Uh, th that's what's going on. Back to sender 10 times over. Okay? On the other side, without you knowing it, these people are getting their shit tossed up. That's exactly what's going on here. Okay? Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Spirit says, don't worry about causing no deaths now, okay? Because you are guilty of committing those crimes that you was trying to pin on somebody else. Don't you try to get nobody hurt because you are going so hard to ruin someone that you, you're realizing that you only ruined yourself here. Let me see where, let me see. I don't like, I don't like the energy I'm feeling. You know, I don't like that energy. 
privilege, right? I feel like someone someone doesn't like what I'm saying because they feel privileged. Whoever this person is, they felt like they had a right to do this. They felt privileged to do this. And they did it all for the wrong reasons, though. That's clarification, okay? That's clarification, okay? Showing fake love, okay? This person has talked a lot, a lot about this person here. A lot. And this person, and they ignored all the red flags. That's what Spirit is saying. They did all of that. But they forgot to do the most important thing. Pay attention to the red flags. But the power was in their magic. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Some people think that magic is more powerful than God himself. And this is every reason why God is making sure this shit backfires. Because he wants it to be understood. Okay. That there is no man greater. Okay. Than the one that sits high on that throne. That's the message that he's making clear to these people. Whether these people believe or not. Okay. God is laying down the facts. Okay. Right. Look, I'm telling you, this person was trying to pull people in. Pull people on their side. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. And let's blame it all on, you know, them. Okay. Without them being a part of it. Without them even knowing what's going on. Look, I told you this person is mad. They mad as hell that I'm giving this message. But you know what? People like me are needed. Right? Because there are innocent people that don't deserve this type of punishment. Okay? And there are readers who see this. While, you know, while the innocent person is walking around not with a care in the world. Because they're not thinking about shit like this. But there's someone in your energy feeling like this. Okay, when I see it, I'm going to call it. Okay, and I'm going to let you know exactly what we're looking at here. Okay, and what we're looking at here is a group of people. Okay, trying to set up an innocent person because they don't want to pay for the crimes that they committed for, for themselves on their own. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how these people... I don't know. The workings of the mind is amazing. The workings of the mind is amazing. Right. Someone is just in like bitch energy. Someone is in bitch energy and this person doesn't give any fucks about ruining this person. They have no remorse. And they just talking, 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 spreading rumors, spreading lies, talking. They're trying to build a case. Remember, they're trying to frame an innocent person. So that's why they're talking so much about this innocent person. Because you got to make it look good. Okay, if nobody's saying nothing, you know, they feel like people think ain't nothing going on. But if you constantly keep someone's name in your mouth and you just constantly throwing dirt on that person. Oh, such and such is this, such and such is that. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you're brainwashing to the people around you to believe you is what this person is doing. So it's like this person has said it so much that, you know, it must be some type of truth to it. That's what happened. This person was, that was the influence. They were, they were trying to speak it into existence is what they were doing. But they forgot one thing. God was watching. And he says no. He says no to this setup. He says, hell no. <laughs> okay? He says, hell no. It's like you committed the crimes and you don't want to go to jail. But you want somebody who don't even know that the crimes were committed to take the heat for you? What the? F-U-C-K? <laughs> what? Mm -mm. Thank you, Spirit, for stepping in. There's just some things that God is like, no, I... I have to step in on this one. I, I've got to throw my two cents in on this one. Okay? But someone is in billionaire energy. Okay? Someone is in billionaire energy. So, were they trying to rob a billionaire? Collective, are you a billionaire? 
And they were trying to keep this a secret from you. They didn't do the shadow work. Someone is a narcissist, okay? Right, look, a cult leader. Right, I told you. I told you they was using magic like a motherfucker, okay? Yeah. But in this whole mix, that's why this person wanted this specific person so bad. Okay, this is not about hate, okay? They don't want to tell the secrets. Of why they want to do this to this person so bad. It's like they just want. They want to see this person suffer. Really. They just want to see this person suffer. And I don't like to see stuff like that. <laughs> because. Now you're going to make me dig. And I need to know why you feel like. This person deserves to suffer. You know why. Why do you feel like this person deserves this type of setup to be locked away? Right? Somebody's in grief here. Somebody's shattered because of this, this money, this stolen money. Mm -hmm. There's a man that is in pieces. Okay? And the mastermind behind all of this, look at her. Look. Can't sleep. Up. But you know what's messed up? You know what's messed up about this person that planned the whole thing? Listen, if the people involved are watching this video, okay, they're going to dive on this person if they're sitting next to this person right now. And here's why. This person had all these people help commit this crime. And guess what? Deep down inside, the person that did this shit knew they were going to get caught. They had a deep knowing. They knew that all of these people that helped them were going to get in trouble. They knew that shit. They knew it. They knew it. But what? Spirit said they were just concerned about filling their cup. You see? Who, who, else, is that? who else is enjoying that with them? Just themselves. Right. That's why they were okay with letting all these people go down. Okay? Because as long as they were in the clear, as long as they get away and get to be happy with all that money they stole, they don't give a damn about this occult leader. They don't give a damn about who helped them do the work. They, they are out of here. Okay? With all that money, y'all help this, this person steal here. Look, now somebody want to travel to somebody. Release rituals. Okay, probably trying to burn some type of evidence. But, you know, like I said, God's got his hands on this. Okay? Because they wanted to catch the collective off guard. That's what they wanted to do. But while the collective was off guard, God was always on guard in the collective's life. Okay? That's that's what this is. That's what this is. And whoever this is that stole this money, this person is going to have to pack up everything they brought with the collective's money and give it all back. Okay, and that person that put everybody in this, I'm telling y'all, I will go look for that person and beat their ass. I'm serious because now, honestly, these people are facing like jail time, Okay. They stole money, inheritance. That that took attorneys. You understand? That took court. That took process. Okay, you're not gonna say. That's why they said the cards are clearly stating this person knew what they were doing when they did it. They wanted that money so bad. They didn't care. They didn't care what was coming after they got the money. Okay, the rich man, rich woman going broke. This person is already wealthy. But you can see they're going broke because they involved themselves with this person. 
This person not only was setting up one person, this person set up a whole bunch of people really to get this money for themselves. Look how mad this person is. Look how mad this person is. The secret is out. I'm telling you. This secret is out. This person cannot sleep. This person is catching hell. Okay. Trying to clean shit up. Look. Look at them. These cards don't lie. They are telling the story. The person she stole this shit from. She probably watching them right now. Look. Look, wishing. You see what that card says? Choose love. This person is wishing that they could go back and do things different. They want to turn this whole thing around. But at the energy that things are in right now, this person is caught up. Right, right. Split the deck and look what, listen. This person is stuck. And this person is having a tower moment. That's the outcome of the setup. That's the ending for this person. Stuck and effed up. Tower. But that's the karma back. Okay? That's the karma back. From putting out all this hateful, negative, vulgar, violent energy. Honestly, for no reason. This was like, this is a hate crime. Okay, this is a hate crime. This is like I hate you so much. I'm going to I'm going to lock up your life. Yeah, I'm serious. It's like I told you they did one thing after the next, after the next, after the next, after the next, trying to put this all on one person while they run overseas with a whole bunch of money that don't even belong to them. It belongs to the person they're trying to throw behind bars. This is a competition for this person. Okay, this person feels like this is a way that they're outdoing this person. But I can tell you what, no, not really. Because, okay, this is what this person is doing when the people that help this person with this setup, no matter how much this person is telling you, don't worry, okay? I got everything under control. Don't believe it because this is that person right now, okay? Did, did that person look like they have everything under control? No, and they're in that energy because they were in this energy. Sneaky, sneaky. They were being sneaky as hell, okay? And they thought they were cutting someone's throat. And God was like, nope. I'm right here. Okay, this person could have tattoos. They could work out. Okay. Um, we got the ages uh, 46, 47, 34, uh, 42. All right. Um 48, we did have child support. We got seven, we got three. We got the age 40, 42, did I say that already? Uh, 52, what else do we have here? Yeah, but like I said, this was a team effort here. This was a team effort. Yeah, someone did not do the shadow work. Someone just kept going and going and going. They were really trying to juice it up. They were really trying to juice up the charges on the collective. I'm telling you. They were trying to make sure that your ass would never get out of this. I'm telling you. They were trying to make sure that you were so stuck. That you would not be able to get out of this, okay? But whoever you are, you better thank God, right? That God is on your side because divine timing showed up for you, okay? And God is making everything that was done unjust, he's making it just, okay? He's balancing the scales in this situation, okay? Because whoever this person was that took their time, excuse me, let me clarify something. It says for years, Okay, this setup, this big, this huge, this major setup that we're looking at in this reading, this shit didn't happen in a week. This shit didn't happen in a couple of months. The cards, the cards set for years. This person planned this setup for years to do this to someone. Like I said, this is a hate crime. Okay, this person 
hate this person so much that they were trying to just end their life. They were trying to put this person in some legal matters. They they couldn't come from underneath. All because they wanted to take something that belonged to this person. They wanted to take it for themselves. And God said, no. Okay, Spirit says, you are missing the bigger picture. That is not your right. And not only is that not your right, that's not your abundance. It does not belong to you. Okay, so you have to give it back. This is what I mean. Where this person is on the run overseas. God is like, no, you're not. You can run, but you can't hide. Okay? Because whatever you did, you have to live with this. Okay? No matter uh, what you do next, you got to live with everything you've done. No matter how bad you try to make this person look. The truth is that's who you are because you done those things and you tried to pin them on someone else. Okay. So it's like you're trying to teach this person a lesson, but are you, are you catching the lesson that's in this for you? Look at who you became. Okay. Trying to ruin someone else. It doesn't look like that person is the monster. It looks like you're the monster. Okay, God is trying to snap you out of this, this, whoever this person is, he's trying to take this person out of this energy. And he's like, look, don't get mad and try to send the hitman to off this person because they know the truth. Okay, don't do that. Look at it for what it really is. If you wouldn't have never done all this setting up, you wouldn't have to be in this energy right here. You wouldn't have to have that expression on your face. Right? That's the truth here. Right. Confirmation. You created this mess. And you think it's right for someone else to pay for it. And that's not. And I brought up about the death because death came out in the cards. It's like this person is refusing to go to jail that, you know, they'll, they'll hurt this person. They'll hurt this person before, you know... They got to live with this type of truth before they got to meet it. But God is like, no, you, you're going to meet this. You're going to answer to this. You, you will. Okay. If you don't meet, if you don't face it physically in front of the judge, then spiritually, this is what people don't understand. We can run from the physical judge all we want. But when spiritual law has found us guilty, right? There's nothing we can do about that. I'm speaking from experience, okay? I made a lot of mistakes before I was able to come on and tell you the real side of shit. It's like, no, it matters. It matters which way you choose to go. It matters how you handle things. Okay. It matters whether or not you are always in a shitty energy. That shit matters. Okay. And I've learned that for personal experience. You know, when we were younger, me and my cousins, friends and shit, we used to say, oh, I don't care. You know, when you're a teenager. You have that don't care attitude. Like, oh, I don't care. And then I remember a family member told us one time when we were teenagers, he said, you know, you got to be careful saying that because you see that I don't care attitude you have, you know, life will follow you the same way. You know, the saying you are what you eat, you keep saying you don't care. You know, the more you pay attention to your life, you will notice things fall in the place of, you know, I don't care. Like things go to shit. Right? You got to make sure you flowing in the right energy. Positive vibes. And all of this is negative. There is nothing about this positive. You were doing it, sending out all this negative. All, and you were the one that was doing it. But see, that's where the spell work came into play. This person wanted to transfer the punishment. It's like, God, it's like, how? 
How can I transfer your punishment to someone who didn't even do nothing to deserve it? That's abuse. Remember, the abuse card came out. Someone is abusing someone behind the scenes. And this person does not know that they're being abused. Right. You're right. Spirit wants to know how would you feel if the roles were reversed? What if they showed up to put these charges on you? Right? Right. Right. These are your charges and you want somebody else to take them for you. So you don't even want to be you. You don't even want to be in no trouble. So, right. That's why this message is coming out. Spirit wants to know. So if you don't want that type of smoke, why would you, why would you bring that type of heat for somebody else? So what's happening in this situation is God is telling this person, it's like, no, 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 no. Since you wanted to see this type of damage done, I'm going to give it to you. Here, you did it, hit you. And this person's like, no, no, I don't want it. No, no. And, you know, spirit is in the background like, well, that's how that person was going to feel. When you were going to have them take your charges and they were, they didn't belong to them. What are you screaming no for? Listen, it took you years to put this setup together. Premeditated. So the years that it took you to put this crime together, knowing it was a crime you were putting together, right? Nothing in you never said that maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't go. Especially when you knew it was inheritance money. But right, this person just wanted to live it up. They did not give a damn. But they got, they upset. They don't want to see this person right here. They don't want to be here. They don't want to be stuck. They want you to be stuck. Look at that shit. Run into psychics now. Run into psychics. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? This person is literally, literally in their energy of worrying themselves to death now. And you know what's messed up? They done this to themselves. Okay? They're worried about their relationship. You know, you were going to take the other person out of their relationship, you know, if there was one. Especially if they were going to take your charges here. It's like, come on now, to be fair. Okay? This is why it really is important, okay, to have your emotions and alignment you have to heal your emotions okay because this person this is what unhealed emotions look like this person was so hell bent on hurting someone else that they did not realize that they were hurting themselves right fingerprints right your fingerprints are all over the collective is wherever the collective is doing whatever the collective is doing. You are doing this. I don't know. I feel like in this situation, there's something more than jail time needed here. You know, this is more, right, awakened. It's like this person needs to be awakened. Okay, whoever this person is, this person needs some type of healing. Okay, because their hate was so strong that it led them to their own demise. It led them to destruction in their own life, in their own finances. They're, they ruined some of their own friends, some of their own family. You can clearly see they ruined their relationship. They ruined, they ruined their health. You know, they ruined themselves. It's like, this is a wake-up call. Okay, this person needs to be awakened. This is not time to be in this energy here. Okay, this is time to um this is time for introspection. This is time to reflect. Okay? This is the part where we see ourselves for who we really are. And it's not judgment because I had to do it for myself 
also. See, when you heal, healing is not around a group of people. Usually healing, you're by yourself because you're spending, you spend a lot of time in yourself. You spend a lot of time thinking things over. Okay. And when you're healing, you know what you're thinking things over. You know what you're thinking about? The things you did wrong. Right? That's what you're thinking about. Where you went wrong. Because you have to heal from the pain. The pain is everything that went wrong. So, when I'm seeing this person, this person was just putting pain on top of pain, on top of pain, on top of pain. You know, they thought they were hurting the collective, but they were releasing their pain, but in a more, in a more even negative sense. You know what I mean? Not realizing that there is no way to magically... Transfer your sins. I don't know a better way to say it. Okay, but this person committed all these crimes and wanted somebody else to hold the bag. You, you know, and you were doing witchcraft. You were trying to transfer your sins. And God, he's going to judge us on our sins. So, I mean, if that's the case, there would be no point of judgment, right? Because anytime I did something wrong, all I have to do is look at the next person to say, yeah, you're going to take that. I'm not, I don't want that judgment. That's not fair. That's not fair. Somebody is seeking counseling because this situation has left them mentally effed up. It's left them mentally effed up. But whoever this feminine energy is, this person knew what they were doing. They wanted all eyes on them. They thought this was their way to their happily ever after. Look. Look, they thought this was a way for them to get their happily ever after. And it's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. This person really, really, really did a number on themselves. Okay? Okay? And it's really, really sad to know that the hate was that strong. That's what I'm looking at. I mean, that was some powerful hate. That was some strong ass hate to not realize that you were, as you were putting the rope around your own neck. You know what I mean? It's like you were hanging yourself and you did not realize what you were doing. Because you were so hell-bent on getting it done. Don't try to hurt this person. This person didn't do any. See, once again, you know, you're still trying to hurt this person. You still want to, you know, go after this person even after you got caught. For trying to hurt this person already. It's like, this is what I mean. This is deeply rooted, okay? This person needs an awakening, okay? And this is, this, what's happening to this person right now, I believe that this person is having an awakening, but they, they didn't want it this way, but this is bringing this person back into reality, that this is not the way to go about holding a grudge against someone. This is, not a good way to go about trying to obtain success by betraying a whole bunch of your own people just to get at somebody for money in the reverse. Money that you're not even going to keep. Spirit says, nope. Okay. Now you're wondering what next, what you're going to do next. And it's like... It's time for prayer. You know, it's, it, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, it's... <sighs> wow. This is a heavy reading. It's deep. 
Okay, it's deeper than it's deeper than just being evil, just being mean. Okay, when you see people in this energy, it's deeper than you know. I know that much. Okay, but that's the message. And it's sad that this person, they did all of this only to find out that they did it to themselves. Okay, that's the message. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share. Okay, keep the comments positive. Okay, this is a positive channel. I do thank you all for tuning in. And thank you for your support. God bless you and have a good night. Later.